Hey guys, what's up? This is Shukesh and well today I will be talking about a very special smartphone that has been launched in India today. It's Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. So really a big name and when few days ago Asus and Flipkart announced about their collaboration, I was like, okay, there is nothing big on Flipkart. But today after watching the launch, I am actually quite excited because for the first time, I think there is a smartphone that can beat Xiaomi. Xiaomi is dominating the 10 to 15,000 rupees price category market and I think this smartphone is capable of beating Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro which is by far the best phone under 15,000 rupees. Now before I talk about the pros of M1, let me share with you my prime concern about this phone which is of course the camera because Redmi Note 5 Pro feature a 20 megapixel front facing camera whereas you are getting just an 8 megapixel shooter at the front of Zenfone Max Pro M1. Now of course megapixel is not the whole picture but since it's not a flagship camera the resolution might be a big factor. The rear cameras are 13 plus 5 megapixels which I think adequate but the front camera might not be as good as Xiaomi. Now there is also another M1 coming with 6 gig of RAM and 16 megapixel front facing camera and also 16 megapixel rear cameras with price tag of 15,000 rupees. I will talk about the prices later. Now in the launch event Asus actually shared some samples of the camera well i think the camera samples are not bad especially in low light the noise handling is quite good there wasn't any front camera sample i think so i cannot tell how good or bad is the front camera other than that everything else is better on this m1 for example you are getting a big 5000 mAh battery Note 5 Pro as you know comes with 4000 mAh battery that is 20 percent less battery juice Asus claims you can watch YouTube videos for 19.5 hours and the charging time is 2.7 hours which is less than Redmi Note 5 Pro as well. Next one of the biggest pros of M1 is you are getting Android Oreo 8.1 out of the box which is a big factor I think for a smartphone in this category I mean uh, Samsung's S9 Plus is not even 8.1 you are also getting pure android so faster user experience you can of course expect that two step upgrade for this m1 is confirmed next biggest pro about this phone is of course the pricing i mean for 3 gig ram variant with 32 gig storage you have to shed just 11000 rupees so it comes in the same category as redmi note 5 with snapdragon 625 and you have snapdragon 636 on this m1 which is actually around 54 percent more powerful than 625 and uh, you have also a 4 gig RAM variant with 64 gig storage. The price is 13,000 rupees, which is 1,000 rupees cheaper than Redmi Note 5 Pro. Uh, the 6 gig RAM variant is also coming, as I mentioned before. The price is 15,000 rupees, again cheaper than Redmi Note 5 Pro. And there are other factors that are making me really happy. For example, you have three slots for two sim cards and also a micro sd card which is expandable up to two terabyte just like your flagships and also in addition to all of these things flipkart has come out with a new unique mobile protection plan for this device which is really crazy i mean you have to pay just 49 rupees and you have got everything covered for you for example if you drop the phone and break the glass flipkart will fix the glass for you within 10 days if they cannot do that they will give you a new smartphone liquid damage is also covered so this is another factor to consider because you will not get this service for the xiaomi device as of now asus also emphasized on the audio component of this phone you are getting NXP smart amplifier and 5 magnet speaker there is also something called a max box that comes free with this phone which can amplify the sound up to 100% so that's really amazing and Flipkart is also coming up with an idea of EMI without any credit card so that sounds really aggressive and also out of the box I think the processor is cryo 260 with 
8 gigahertz clock speed and the GPU is Adreno 509 and Asus claims that the performance is even better than Redmi Note 5 Pro. The apps and boot time loading is also faster than Redmi Note 5 Pro. The phone will be available on Flipkart from 3rd of May. I'm eagerly waiting for the phone. I will buy this right away and do some comparisons with Xiaomi devices and also share with you my overall experience with the phone whether it's actually worth the hype thanks a lot guys for watching stay tuned to this channel don't forget to subscribe this is shukesh and bye bye